I am here with amateur prospect Pierre Lagasca. Pierre, congrats on the win, man. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was just yesterday, man. Thank you for having me on here. Of course, man. Anytime, anytime. Before we talk about that fight, uh, I guess let's start at the beginning. How did you get your start in MMA originally? Um, I really didn't get into it till maybe about four or five years ago. Uh, steadily, consistently been doing it. Now, was like there ever this age or this time uh, that you can recall that when you were like MMA competition is something I actually want to do? Um, when I was younger, I did karate. Um, nothing major, but uh, as soon as I met my coach Phil Dunlap, uh, he saw a lot of potential in me, and and uh, so that. That four or five years ago, Mark, that's when I met him, I knew like I really wanted it heavy. That's incredible. Actually, you and I had different experiences. When I uh, did jujitsu, my coach told me I should stop doing that. So, <laughs> 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 well, man, Pierre, you're definitely doing a great job in your career so far. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to see your next fight. But talking about this past one, you just won Friday, unanimous decision on one of my favorite uh, shows, Tough Enough. How did that feel to get that W? Man, it was it was it was exciting, man. It was so many sparks and just so many emotion everywhere, man. Just uh, having everybody cheer me on and just giving the crowd what they want, man. That's it was just it was amazing, man. It was an amazing night. Mm -hmm. Now, well, kind of walk me through that fight because I saw uh, on your Instagram you posted that clip. You were really close to knocking him out. You hit him with a hard shot. I actually almost knocked him out like three times. That actually that clip was just a uh, just a small little clip from the second round. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I almost knocked him down. Uh, the first time I almost knocked him out, he stumbled against the cage and he grabbed his forehead. And I was just looking at him like, huh? And I, I didn't know how to react to that. So to, I should have swarmed in and finished it off. But, you know, amateur mistakes right there, amateur mistakes. But we're here to learn. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually surprised he kind of took those shots because most other <laughs> fighters I do not think would be able to take those to recover. So, I mean, props to him, but it was definitely a dominant win for you. Yeah, yeah, strong dude, man, strong chin. He 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 fought back. He fought back, man. He did what he had to do to stay in there all three rounds. So, you know, mad props to him. Now you had sent me through Instagram. You had said that obviously you made weight. Uh, he did not make weight. He was what six six pounds over. He was. Uh, I was actually five point three pounds over. Uh, I weighed in at one twenty four point three, and he weighed in at one twenty nine point seven. Hmm. Well, props to you for still yeah. taking that fight. I can imagine that'd be pretty frustrating. Yeah, I was actually, uh, when he didn't make weight, I asked if uh, I was allowed to have him uh, still cut weight before he weighed in again. And uh, they said, yeah, but then when they asked him, he was telling me that he ate. And so I was like, I don't want him to come into the fight dehydrated. I wanted a fair fight, whether he made weight or not. I didn't want, I wanted him to heal up, hydrate, be ready, you know, because I was coming and I was ready. Yeah. So I wanted, I wanted it fair. That, well, that definitely shows your character. That's what that's what separates you from the other fighters because other fighters would not have handled it in that uh, same way. I guarantee that. Man, it was. I didn't know what to do. Uh, people were telling me that I can do it, and you know, my brother was like, "Nah, nah, nah." And, you know, my brother really inspires me a lot of this, and he's my younger brother, so you know, I really take his opinion deeply. Yeah, that's awesome. D does he fight as well? Um, I'm getting him ready to do a Muay Thai kickboxing match, so you know I hope he's 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 ready. You know, I know, I know he's ready. I just want him to be mentally ready. You know what I mean? So, you know, we got this. though. we got this team asylum asylum. You know, for no reason, we're crazy. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, of course, uh, and it's actually something something you mentioned. So much of mixed martial arts and all sports is mental. If if you're mentally ready, if you're mentally in that right state of mind, you'll do great. I mean, I, I don't know the exact quote, but in mixed martial arts, it's almost all mental. You can train all you want. If, if you're not in that right state, you're not going to do well. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Like, uh, I forgot exactly which fighter said that, but he said it's like standing off the edge of a, a cliff and ready to jump. You know what I mean? Are you going to do it or not? You know, you're already there, so jump. Right. Yeah, of course, of course. Now, talking about mentality, mm -hmm. on the day of a competition, you've already had, you know, a, you know, a good amount of amateur fights. How do you get yourself in that right state of mind? Do you have any rituals that you do or anything like that? Um, I, I really have no ritual. Uh, when it first started, I would, like, hype myself up. Like, I, I figured something, something out to be mad, but then as I got around, I knew, just slap me a couple times before the fight, and I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
I actually was talking to a pro fire the other day, and he told me that <laughs> to, to get ready, he <laughs> listens to Disney music. He listens to the Frozen track. Hey. <laughs> do, do you like that? Do you like that? Um, I don't know about Disney music, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Jake Paul is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I don't really know. I feel like if I were a fighter, I'd be walking out to like 50s music or country music, and I actually have a strategy for that. <laughs> If I were to walk out to that, the crowd and my opponent would fall asleep, so I'd, I'd get the W automatically. I wouldn't even have to step in the cage. <laughs> I was trying to hype the uh, the crowd up with uh, the Kiki Challenge song. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey. Well, th- th- I'm, I'm assuming it worked, right? Uh, I walked out to uh, Kanye West, Black, uh, Black Skinhead. Oh, gotcha. Uh, that's my favorite song from him. It's okay. a hype beat, a whole lot of drums and everything. Like like you're walking out to WWE back on PlayStation 2. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Hey, that's the only game I was ever good at. I tried Call of Duty. <laughs> I was awful at that. I couldn't figure out how to, like, kill anybody. So I, I just stick with the MMA and WWE games. I'm a beast at those. I know. That's right. Me too, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe we'll play some time and I'll destroy you. Now, <laughs> now Pierre, for you, you, obviously getting a victory is a huge thing. You've been training so hard. How do you celebrate the win? How have you been celebrating? Um, celebration with the win. The celebration for me is, uh, I guess letting my opponent know that, you know, he did a great job that, you know, the honor is there with him too. And, and that, that enlightens me on the inside. So that just makes the night wonderful. That, that is something I do like about you uh, and fighters who, who demonstrate respect because mixed martial arts and you know, boxing and it's, it's all the core of it. It's built on respect. And if you have respect, I, I consider you already a winner. Thank you, man. That's that's how I feel, too. Like, people are going to talk. You know, you lose, you win. They're going to figure out something that you did wrong to complain about. Hmm. And, and you know, just as long as you believe in yourself and, you know, everything's A-OK, you know what I'm saying? You got out there. You did what you got to do. Win, lose, or draw. Yeah. That's gangster. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. Now, what is next for you? When do you plan on entering uh, the cage again? Whew, this is uh this is uh the first time I'm gonna tell anybody too, so this is cool for the podcast. Uh I was offered a title fight in October, so uh that's the next move, man. Tough enough was really proud of my performance. Um I didn't even have to cut weight to make one uh twenty four either, so uh we're gonna work our way down to one fifteen and we're gonna dominate there. That's incredible, man. That that's incredible. I'm 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 really looking forward to uh, watching that fight. <laughs> No oh, man, thank you, man. I can't wait to be wearing it either, man. So show my kids, like, you know, just do what you do, never quit. Dreams come true, man. Dreams come true. That's it. That's it. You, you know, you, you work hard. You, uh, you get the benefits, and you're definitely. That's something I've seen with you. You're a really hard worker. Thank you, man. Yeah, I work. I work as hard as I can, man. With all the support that I got behind me, and you know, with uh, my lo- my kids, my little brother, my older brothers. Uh, my brother getting out of prison, you know, I'm just, I'm waiting for him to get out. I want my little brother to grow up and he loves this, you know, so I do all this for the family, man. You know, just, you know, one day we, we gonna make it, you know, and we will make it. I believe it. I believe it. Now, I, I, I've been able to watch a couple of your fights on uh, YouTube, on, on social media. I know what to expect. Pr- pretty much some of the things I picked up on with you. First, I have to compliment you on your head movement. You are you dodge a lot. I, I don't know. I just saw that. I'm like, dude, you like never get hit. Kind of like Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you have good head movement. You're very explosive. You know, it really only takes one punch for you to get the finish. And you're comfortable on the ground. You're a very well-rounded fighter. How would you describe your game, Pierre? Um, me, I, I like I like being on the ground. I like when my back's against the wall, man. Because there's there's only one way to go when your back's against the wall, and that's forward. You know, we're pushing through, so if you think you're going to defeat me, defeat me with, with, with as, as much as you got because I'm not quitting. That's the mentality to have. That's the mentality to have, Pierre. Lastly, man, the floor is yours. Anyone you want to thank, how can people find you on social media? Um, Everybody can find me on uh, Facebook as uh, Pierre Lagasca. Uh, the last name is going to be spelled L-A-G-A-U-Z-K-A. And uh, on Instagram is uh, Ugly Boy PZ with underscores between the names. <laughs> well, that's um, I want to give a <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my coach Phil Dunlap, uh, Asylum and Rebel Fight Team, uh, Ten Tigers for giving me all the extra work, uh, Pro Fighter from Cobra Kai Jerry Shapiro for inviting me and getting some work in with them. Um, 
anybody that I didn't mention, it's just there's so so many names. So I just want to thank everybody for just uh, supporting me and giving me the chance to just follow my dreams, man.